We've got an update on the flooded floorboards of the 99 Montero. Everyone knew that water was coming into this car because this window doesn't roll up. We put tape on there, but it didn't really help out. And if you look, you can see there's actually a gap right here. It just keeps coming down for whatever reason. We were expecting some rain the other day, so we decided to put some black duct tape covering the entire span of the adhesive from where this visor goes. Because we figured maybe the adhesive on the visor is cracking, and maybe that's the reason why water is going in between here, and then coming through the window and going into the floorboards. But we had a huge rainstorm the other day, and we found out that wasn't the issue. If you're looking at the door panel, you're probably thinking nothing's wrong with it. But if you take a closer look, you can actually see that the door panel itself is separating from the seal against the window. And if we take a look on the outside view, you don't really see any issues unless you look from this angle. And you can see there's a bunch of crud down in there. Possibly there's a hole. The morning after the rainstorm, there was a giant pool of water in the floorboard. Even worse than last time. Good thing I had this can up here though, because it prevented all this matting from getting even more wet. It's all dried up now, but it looks like there might be some rust right there. So I'll have to take care of that before we put the carpet in. This door panel is the reason why water keeps pooling up in the floorboards of the 99 Montero. I never noticed it until now. Originally we thought maybe water was coming through the cowl and dripping somehow through the dash into the floorboard, but that wasn't the case because there was nothing wet up there. Our next thought was maybe water was coming through the ceiling because there was actually water coming out of this trim panel here, but that's strange because if water is coming out of the ceiling, you'd see a wet spot on the headliner. So we crossed that off too. Then we took a look at the window and there was no water on the top of this at all, which means it couldn't have been the window. And then our last thing was the door panel itself and this seal right here. When we took a closer look, there was a lot of water on the underside of this door, but it stopped right here. And that would explain why there would only be water right there and not over here. So what's happening is that water is coming down into the door panel itself. The plastic sheet that's stuck between the door and the door panel must be bad. That's the only reason why water would be pooling up in the bottom portion of the door panel. This is pretty concerning because if I take this door panel off, I don't know how bad the damage is. There might be a lot of stuff mechanically messed up here. I'm gonna say this speaker is probably toast, but that's okay because we have the 96 parts car we can take it off of. But we're probably gonna upgrade the speakers anyways, so we're probably gonna trash that. Here in the next couple of days, we're gonna take this door panel off and fix this whole issue. And while we're at it, we might go ahead and replace all the window regulators and motors because I bought them for this car. I really hope we can get this issue fixed so that I can put the carpet in the car because the last thing I wanna do is put the carpet in the car, install the seats, we got a heavy rainstorm, and there's a lake in the floorboards of this car. But if you wanna see more videos on the restoration of the 99 Montero, consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. But until next time, I will see you later. Have an amazing day.